Now, the biggest news break of the week happens to be the launch of 5G in India at the India Mobile Congress. And if you've been tuned in to the Business Today social media handles and the India Today network, we've been bringing you all the updates from the event as soon as they happened. But we've had some time to compile all of them together and bring you the landmark event, the launch of 5G at the India Mobile Congress and all the coolest inventions that we saw at the event from a Tech Today lens. Have a look. You know what? I haven't taken a vacation in years. I've never seen the Taj Mahal. But here at the India Mobile Congress in the Nokia booth, I'll be able to experience Taj Mahal in its magnificence. So I'm going to strap this on and I'll be able to see the Taj Mahal. Okay, so I can see the Taj Mahal here. Not just that, I can also see birds flying in the sky. Alright, so I'm here at the main gate of the Taj Mahal. Okay, so I'm on the top of the Taj Mahal right here. I can see the clouds. I can see the monument right here. I can also see the gardens here. Well, that was an exciting experience. Although I've never seen the Taj Mahal for real, I've seen Taj Mahal in the VR world with this immersive kit. Never shoot whilst driving. That's the golden rule of TV. But I'm not driving an ordinary car. I'm here at the Ericsson booth at the India Mobile Congress. And what I find fascinating is that I'm driving a car a few thousand kilometers away in another country, in the lovely country of Sweden. I press the gas pedal and boom, the car starts moving. Look, I, and that's exactly what I did. This is happening in real time, guys. If you have a look at the screen, I'm gonna try getting out of here. And why are we talking about this today on Tech Today? Well, essentially, I'm gonna press the brakes and give you a little bit of an explainer. We're talking about this because this is all possible via 5G networks. Low latency networks mean that the lag is always minimal when you're using these vehicles. And obviously, this is a lovely use case to demonstrate. On top, you can see an aerial view, a point of view, and then, of course, like you're playing a video game down over here. But you could do this in places where human beings cannot go. You could embellish this, add on more technology, maybe add more 4K cameras, thermal sensing, add a robotic arm to it as well. We've seen all sorts of Robocons all over the world. This makes being in two places at the same time absolutely totally possible and for me this is mind-blowing technology right here with this 5G autonomous solution. So Arnav, could you tell us what do we have here? What is this and how is it going to help in the education of people? That's a buzzword I've been hearing since morning. Yes, thank you. Uh, so today we have education system or the future of education or classrooms okay. wherein with GeoGlass and Geo 5G we are able to give immersive education content to every student in every school in India, right? So 5G acts as a conduit to deliver this uh, new immersive forms of content and using this tablet, teachers can basically control the content that the students are looking at, okay. right? She can also give personal attention to students because she can track every student. You can see as a teacher, I can see this content and Nitin is wearing a geo glass. And whatever he's looking at is also streamed on the TV for all the audience here. Yeah. So if I hit forward as a teacher, I can see the different layers of human body. Then we see the skeleton system. The skeleton system is the shell to our body or basically the, the system which keeps our body in posture. All right. So Nidin, could you tell us about what are you seeing? Like we do know, but is it in a 3D perspective? How is it? So I can see the heart right here and I'm able to see all the or different parts that have been highlighted. That sounds very exciting. I believe school lessons are about to get very interesting. I'm smiling because while this is very interesting for tech geeks, could it take away my job or someone in a factory? Because essentially, this is automation at its best at the Ericsson booth. An AMR or an autonomous mobile robot, which means that you need no human intervention. You want to transfer a good from point A and you can pick it up using this robotic arm and then take it all the way to point B, which happens to be right here. So you can see this moving on a trolley. Now, where does 5G come in? Because the conversation is all about 5G. People keep asking about what private 5G networks are all about. Imagine the use case. Private 5G network in your factory, 
the fact that you don't need as many factory workers and in places where humans could be endangered, you can use this technology, low latency and everything being monitored remotely. I think that's mind-blowing tech here at the Ericsson booth. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.